today we will learn how to narrow your research topic or any kind of topic that you want to narrow it uh, so that uh, your topic will be very unique than many others this is a really common challenge when you ch start your PhD especially in the beginning uh, probably to narrow down your topic is what you will get suggestions from many of your uh, professors or supervisor or external or internal experts so they go on asking you to narrow your topic a little bit so this is where we get some problem like how to narrow down our research topic in PhD uh, maybe your professor may be giving you some advice but still you may be not getting uh, how to do it so today we will learn in this video in in, an, in a very easy way how to uh, narrow down the topic with some tips probably the first tip is uh, you uh, that you have to see the aspect of the topic for example uh, like uh, what aspect you are researching and what are some internal aspects for example like uh, you want to study the role of food in uh, South Asian religious rituals now South Asia you want to study the role of food now what here instead of uh, studying in South Asian religious rituals study the role of food in Hindu ceremonies okay, Hindu ceremonies so which means you are taking something very narrow within South Asian religious rituals that is there are many rituals but you are only concentrating on Hindu ceremonies or you can like the role of one particular type of food among several religions instead of taking many religions you take one religion and one food and um, make it a narrow thing so or for example you are researching uh, the uh, educational values in India instead of that you go educational values in Andhra Pradesh or educational values in uh, primary schools even if you want to still narrow down education values uh, among 10th class students in primary schools even if you want to go still narrow education values in primary schools with 10th class students of uh, low percentage maybe the people uh, the stu students who get 40 to 60 percent see how I am narrowing totally from uh, broad aspect uh, of education to the very 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 no level so completely narrowing down this is how you need to do in any topic uh, go sub and sub and sub and sub that is what the meaning of narrowing the topic don't be just uh, go blank when your supervisor or your external expert tells you to uh, change the topic or uh, narrow down the topic a little bit and all things don't be uh, so much panicked and afraid it is so easy just uh, go into the sub and sub and you will uh, uh, get the thing uh, how to narrow down but be careful when you are narrowing down you must also remember about the sources available for such narrowing down and you need to the more you narrow down what happens the more you must go in detail information uh, but that is very good because if the aspect is very broad what happens it takes too many years to complete PhD because you need to study many things and uh, you cannot uh, general, generalize and study so that is why always narrowing the topic is always uh, a good thing so that you can do it within three years frame of time that is where you can narrow your topic and the second uh, thing is components <coughs> remember uh, if your initial variable or unit of analysis can be broken into smaller parts like for example a study of tobacco a study of tobacco use among youth or, or say adolescents can focus on just chewing tobacco rather than all forms of usage 
rather than adolescents in general focus on female adolescents in certain age group who choose to use tobacco so so this is what i am telling uh, the aspect is about narrowing down the place component is about narrowing down the objects so here in this particular tobacco use example we are we want to study on youth but among youth we are taking the component of female that which happens very rarely so that is what the component is very important uh, when you are narrowing down the topic we can also change the objects or components uh, or uh, the things which are involved in that research take one only thing so that's how you can uh, go ahead uh, with components. This is the second uh, thing that you can uh, use to narrow down the topic. And the third one to narrow down your topic is methodology. Methodology in the sense, the way which you gather information, which means it can reduce the domain of uh, interpretive analysis, uh, which means you have some research problem and you need to address that research problem and you need to interpret it through one methodology so for example a single case study can be designed to generate data that doesn't require an extensive explanation uh, as it is in multiple cases uh, which means the methodology which you choose can be very uh, not that uh, many others use in a general sense uh, to generate data but you can just uh, narrow it down even the methodology like uh, in a single substance so choose which methodology is uh, apt for that type of component for that type of aspect so that the details are very clear and uh, practical and the place uh, yeah this is what I'm speaking in the beginning also generally the smaller geographic places are good like if you take a bigger geography uh, research will be difficult so what you do the geographic unit of analysis you decide which place and which area which locality you want to research and which part if, if it is any another subject like where it is not related with places and all so even if you take the concept which of that concept um, which place of that concept uh, that you want to research this need this needs we cannot generalize and tell these things but you you have to like for example let let us take the uh, like one uh, classroom in the classroom let us take your researching on the classroom and in, in the classroom which place of classroom the students who sit in the last bench of the classroom so that is what i mean place so what is happening in that place why students are not so much interested who sit in that place so that is how the place uh, this is only an example but you must determine uh, the place okay where you need to uh, research so in this way you can narrow down so aspect components methodology places and also relationships for example ask yourselves how do two or more different pers perspectives or variables related to one another so remember always you cannot only research this thing and it tell always there must be some uh, interrelationship connectivity so what you can do uh, you bring some more aspect to related to this uh, uh, research topic so that relationship also plays a great role in which you are which are the things that you are relating to, relating to each other also you must decide to not narrow down the topic and that time so how much time you are going to take uh, so you you must when narrowing the topic you must also understand the time constraint you cannot take uh, uh, the topic which has which we should have a long time which should need long time so that is very dangerous so you must decide the time clearly and perfectly how much time will it take exactly sometimes infrastructure is not available nearby you sometimes uh, uh, lab laboratories are not available in front of you sometimes you you may need to go abroad for some things so just such type of uh, things uh, you must decide clearly the time when you choose a uh, research topic will this research topic uh, all the facilities are available or, or not or should you need to go somewhere to, for this and all 
so it, that's what you need to focus and uh, also you need to think the type of research that you are uh, going to do which means like focus your topic in terms of um, specific type or class of people places or phenomena example a study of developing safer traffic now you want to have a safe traffic of traffic on the routes roads so where uh, the type of traffic traffic near schools that's what you you need to focus uh, and there you need to focus on SUVs or auto rickshaws which are very dangerous nearby school or drivers of lorry drivers so th the type of study that's also very important so this is why it's a narrowing the topic is the combination of all these what I have been speaking so when when your supervisor tells you your topic you must narrow it so you need to think in all these directions how to narrow it but i have given only very general idea still you have to know that you know very well what is your topic about and uh, how to go with the help of this generalized topic into a particular topic so from uh, general to particular that that's very very important so if you can master how to move this shift this transition from general to particular then your topic will look wonderful and uh, your topic will look great and your topic will look uh, research oriented and your topic will uh, prompt some kind of um, uh, philosophical thinking when somebody hears by by listening to your topic itself it promotes a kind of philosophical and uh, the approach uh, uh, it will be very different so i wish you best of luck if you have any doubts regarding your topic kind of comment below and share this video for all the first year phd students especially who are confused with uh, their topic thank you so much